na hujambo mtazamaji wa Jimbo TV. Hiki ni kipindi cha siasa na wanasiasa na kama tulivyokujuza hapo awali ni kwamba tutakuletea uh, wagombe, wagombeaji mbali mbali wa kiti cha ubunge katika eneo bunge la Msambweni kabla ya tarehe 15 ambayo uh, ni tarehe iliyoratibiwa ili, ili kufanywa ka uh, ule uchaguzi mdogo. Na hii leo basi tuko naye daktari ambaye ni daktari na yapenda kumuita daktari mwadilifu. Nitakueleza kwa nini natumia uh, neno hili la wadilifu. Tuko naye daktari Hamisi Mwakaonje ambaye ni mgombeaji huyu wa kiti hiki cha ubunge katika eneo bunge la Msambweni uh, akiwa anagombea uh, kupitia chama cha United Green Movement eh? uh, na atatuelezea chama hiki kinaongozwa na nani na mpaka sasa amejiandaa vipi lakini hayo si maneno yangu acha tumkaribishe moja kwa moja mimi ni Abdul Malik Fumbwe karibu sana uh, daktari na pengine kwa manufaa ya mtazamaji <coughs> naam kujielezee wewe ni nani na mm. unatoka wapi mimi kwa majina kamili naitwa daktari Hamisi Mwakaonje Liganje <coughs> mimi ni kwa department ya anesthesiology uh, mimi katika operation ni wale wawili wa usika kabisa kuna surgeon alafu mimi mimi ndo nakupatia dawa kulaza alafu na kuweka gadget kwenye koo eh, na kuchukua gadget na na connect na tungi la oxygen sasa napulizwa oxygen pale paka operation iko karibu na kuisha surgeon anashona uzi ya mwisho mimi na kuamsha na kudunga sindano na mka lakini wakati tunafanya operation na kikisha your blood pressure your fluid level your oxygen level kila kitu eh, kiko sawa sawa blood blood iko sawa alafu ndo na kuamsha hiyo ni ile operation kubwa operation ndogo ambayo tuna operate below the waist oh, kwa mfano wakati tunafanya cesarean section natoa mtoto tutakudunga hapa nyuma sindano pale okay alafu uta temporarily paralyze the lower part including the lower abdomen alafu kiwa ni mtoto kumtoa tunamtoa mtoto uh, wakati ikiisha okay after some time six hours ile uh, ganzi inatoka alafu unaweza kutembea hiyo ndio taaluma yangu mimi <coughs> ni mazaliwa wa eh, lakini mama yangu anatoka hapa msambweni kwa hivyo nimekaa hapa msambweni kwa muda mrefu though nimesoma yeye primary kutoka 1970 up to 1976 when i did my cpe certificate of primary education from there i went to alans high school where i studied until form 6 after alans high school i taught at msambweni a secondary school from there i taught temporarily i was called to kenyatta <coughs> Okay, Kenyatta National Hospital KMTC where I did a, a first diploma in, a, in clinical medicine. After that, I was recalled back to Kenyatta where I did this anesthesiology, anesthesia. Okay, and after that I was posted back. Uh, before post posting back, I went to Nairobi University for a course in anesthesiology. And then I was deployed to Coast General Hospital where I did my anesthesia. From there I was transferred that was internal transfer to Portree's uh, uh, hospital. To that time it was a district hospital. That time 1988. Then from there from Portree's I was transferred to Voy uh, Moy National Hospital Voy where I worked for a period of some time and I resigned. But 2006 I went to University of South Africa attached to Kenya College of Accountants University where I did LLB a bachelor's degree law bachelor's degree okay and then uh, okay I, I came back again well, at that time I was just doing it uh, private uh, privately on my own eh? and then came back uh, sasa yeah. tuje katika hiki kinyang'anyiro cha msambweni naam labda umwambie mtazamaji wewe unawania kiti hiki na kupitia chama gani? Mimi nawania chama hiki kupitia chama cha United Green Movement. 
UGM ambacho part leader wake ni Agostino Neto alafu secretary general anatoka Mombasa ni mama mwadilifu sana anaitwa Hamisa Zaja uh, juzi pia with the mama Hamisa Zaja tulikuja na tukapeana viti wheelchairs hapo Kinondo uh, Kinondo 20 wheelchairs to disabled tulikuja naye tukapa shughuli hiyo alafu tukawasaidia watu ambao hawajiwezi sasa uh, doctor umetuelezea uh, nyanja zako za elimu sana na kwa urefu naam sijii utuambie kabla hatujaingia katika mambo ya siasa mm. utuambie labda sababu iliyokufanya uache kazi ya 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 ya, ya, ya udaktari katika mambo na operation na, na ulitambia ume, uli resign sijii yeah. sababu ilikuwaje pale sababu so, i resigned that time when i resigned wakati nilipo resign niko voi i resigned because of uh, I had a sick mother Uh, na yule sick mother alikuwa anategemea mimi sana sikuwa hakuna mtu mwingine kumtegemea uh, my mother had diabetes eh, diabetes mellitus na alikuwa na ill health kwa hivyo ilibidi from voi and resign nifungue clinic ambayo niko karibu na kwao uh, ambako ni kwetu msambweni nikawa ni mudumi mamangu paka mamangu nikamhitimisha uh, 202 2002 hapa hapa msambweni kamzika kaburi lake liko hapa kwa hivyo mimi nilitoka kule kwa sababu hiyo na, na kwa sababu hiyo eh, kwa hivyo nafikiri hiyo ndio ilikuwa sababu kubwa ya mimi kurizaini wakati ule lakini sasa mimi nimpenda maendeleo nimpenda siasa na nimpenda watu pia kwa hivyo mimi niliona experience niliyonao ni leadership Uh, because of my experience because uh, I've worked in many hospitals that time na naona uh, is a loopholes tunazo katika hii uongozi uongozi una loopholes za kutosha because watu wanaangalia matumbo yao sana lakini hawangali maslahi ya watu wao mimi nimeangalia upande wa hospitali kuna loopholes upande wa elimu kuna uh, loopholes alafu to take in consideration that uh, msambweni has squatters <coughs> hii historical injustice imeanza kitambo sana ambao hii tunafikiria ni kitu ambacho kimekuwa uh, donda sugu na lazima tujaribu kulitatua na mimi nikiwa kale kama, kama, kama kiongozi na nikiwa serious nitaweza kuona haya mambo yanatatuka kuna problem kwa mfano ya viziani kuna problem ya pale gasi kuna tatizo la tumbe kuna tatizo la nyumba sita kuna tatizo la gonjora fingrika wale watu waliokuwa pale kwa, kwa long time they been there for a long time okay kuna tatizo la kaslaka watu wale walikuwa pale for a long time lakini sasa wanaambia bado ni squatters mababu zao ndo walikwenda wali kule na kuanza hizo shughuli up to now those people are still squatters mimi naona hii ni problem ambayo inaweza kuaddress only that our leaders don't address it you know we have a good president I like President Uhuru kwa sababu yeye anasikiza. Na yeye President Uhuru ni mtu ambaye anapenda amani. So given the chance, na mimi nikutane na President nonge naye kwa sababu hii ni issue ya diplomacy. Nikisema kuwa mtaanza na tutengeze act badilishe act, hiyo will take a long time. The only quick solution for my 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 residents is to sit down, talk to the authority, talk to people concerned and you tell them the truth about our people kwa sababu ni watu wanakaa kamba si wananchi okay, ama wenye nchi sasa uh, mheshimiwa nitaondoa nita eh, jina la daktari ni kuita mheshimiwa yes. sababu mheshimiwa mtarajiwa yes. uh, mheshimiwa wakati wa kipindi chako cha utendakazi kama yeah. daktari yeah. haya mambo umeyataja ume mambo ya ya, ya ardhi yes. ma, mambo mambo ya ya ajira yes. pengine uliweza kugusia na kutatua baadhi ya mambo uh, pindi ukiwa katika sekta ya 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 ya, 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 ya afya um, haya mambo kutatua sija tatua especially mambo mambo ya mambo ya ajira nimejaribu kidogo lakini small scale kwa sababu na shamba kuna watu nawapatia casualties kazi hapa kwangu 
kuna watu walikuwa wakati katika my medical department lakini sasa hiyo ni employment in small scale kile kitu tunataka especially you've touched employment eh? tuna employment ambayo ingeweza kupatikana kwa mfano hapo hapo Tiomin Tiomin panafanywa kazi okay hii that one is a grand investment ambayo hiyo tunahitaji Tete Tiomin and even other places eh tunataka watu wa hapa msambweni na kisema watu wa hapa msambweni sisemi ati wadigo ama nini all tribes of msambweni because mimi am an enemy am an enemy of tribalism okay yeah. oye watu wote mjaluo ambaye uko hapa mdigo uko hapa mkamba uko hapa all those tribes eh wana wana stahili but hiyo tunaita 70% ile 30% can come from other places lakini so far sio ni kuwa kuna kuna 70% policy hapa okay watu, watu wana wanaandikana tu kivile vile eh alafu kuhusu employment maybe creation of employment eh kuna opportunities nyingi hapa ambazo tunaweza kuzifanya uh, taking into consideration that sisi tuko hapa baharini wakati tuko baharini you the fishing fishing inaweza kutengeza employment kubwa sana the fishing industry eh, hapo kiwa tunaweza kutengeza vifaa tukununua vifaa vya uvuvi kama boats we cannot afford the ship ships kwa sababu gani hiyo ni pesa nyingi eh, but because we are developing country na pesa ziko hizi tunapata kidogo tunaweza kuwanunulia vijana kama hizo fishing boats ambazo wa, na pe, vifaa vingine vya uvuvi alafu pia we can train them so that uh, watengeneze uvuvi bora na tuigize nchi kama vile Holland okay ambazo zimestawi kwa sababu ya <coughs> ya fishing tuigize nchi kama China China zao wanakuja na na, na, fish, na, na meli zao huku naona wana make a lot of money through through fishing but from that this area of ours ni touristic ni area ya utalii <coughs> tunataka tuhakikishe vijana ambao wako pale tunachukua tuna, tuna wanakuwa trend tunawachengea college hapa hapa ile college ya Thika ni pale pale ya utalii lakini tunatengeza college hapa hapo Mombasa ya utalii ambao vijana nasoma hapa alafu wanakuwa employed pale we can also wazungu wakija huku kutalii wangepe upenda kuzunguka kwenye ile bahari so if you can buy glass boats for them so that wazungu wako pale wanaangalia that is enough to create employment for our people asante sana mtazamaji ni daktari huyu Hamisi Mwakaonje ambaye kwa sasa ndiye uh, ama ni mwaniaji wa uh, kiti cha ubunge kiti ambacho kiliwachwa uh, wazi baada ya kufariki kwa aliyekuwa mbunge katika eneo hili la Msambweni uh, marehemu Suleman Dori na nimekuelezea tu kwamba kuna uadilifu ndani ya uh, daktari huyu si katika uongozi lakini kuna uadilifu ambao nitautaja mbeleni lakini kwa sasa daktar nataka mm. utupe taswira kamili ya siasa mm. uh, umejiingiza katika siasa hasa katika eneo hili uh, bunge la Msambweni no. una unazizungumziaje una siasa za eneo bunge hili si ha, si, siasa za bunge hili in general eh, aziko mbaya sana siasa hapa kuna wale watu ambao wanakuja kutumia pesa uh, backing other candidates viongozi ambao wako hapa ni watu ambao hawana ile maono ya kuwa tunachagua mtu ambaye ana uadilifu na mtu ambaye labda ana elimu ya kutosha na mtu ambaye ana experience ambao anaweza kusukuma ili grudumo most people our leaders let's say the governor of Mombasa the governor of uh, of Kwale okay hawa ni watu ambao wanachagua watu because of masuala yao tukimshika huyu atatusaidia upande huu lakini hawatafuti leadership ya msambweni wanatafuta leadership yao for their own benefit naona kuna donda sugu right now nimezungumza ku Stiomen kuna 10% ambayo iko pale 10% ambayo imerundikana for years ambayo haijatatuka na ile pesa ingefaa watu wa msambweni ajira hospitali afya kila kitu lakini sasa kuna watu ambao wana mtazamo tofauti wanawaunga watu mkono, mkono because there is a kamati to be formed ya kusimamia pesa za madini. Kwa hivyo mtu kama Mwakaonje kwa sababu yeye ni mjuzi na elewa sana hataweza kusukuma kama punda. Lakini kuna watu ambao wanakuwa backed kama punda ili waweze kukidhi mama you know mati, 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 mambo, matrajio ya wale wa mabepari. Tuje katika ma- maswala ya vijana. Yes. Uh, umetaja ajira lakini ajira kwa bahati mbaya inalenga vijana na hata wazee. 
Yes. Ile 70% unayoongelea pale Bestetenium huenda yeah. labda ikaajiriwa uh, wazee peke yao. Yeah. Hawa vijana pengine endapo utapata hiki kiti hiki cha ubunge. Mm. Unawapangia nini katika uh, uongozi wako? Vijana kuna njia nyingi ambazo wanaweza kuwa promoted na kufanya kazi eh? Okay. Kuna areas kama kwa mfano tunasema hizi talentas eh? Tunaweza kuimprove talentas. Kuna wasanii hapa, si ndio? Kuna footballers hapa. So if I improve and I try to improve their talents, okay? Like uh, our wasanii tunawajengea their studios, okay? Tunaweza kujengea uh, their radio radio stations and most not a lot of money. Tunaweza kuwajengea their TV stations so that uh, we exploit eh, ile hizo vipawa vyao vizuri. Hiyo inaweza kusaidia sana ku create employment eh, for, uh, for boys. Chama chako cha and girls. Chama chako cha United Green Movement. Eh? Yeah. Ah uh, tumeona tu Mama Hanifa katika hmm. ulingo Mama Hamisa. Ma- ha- Hamisa kondadhi yes. katika ulingo huu wa siasa ya msambweni. Yeah. Pengine kina wanachama wangapi ama ni Mama Mama Hanisa peke yake uh, wa, 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 katika chama hiki? Chama hiki kina watu wa kutosha because I being the coordinator of this Kwale County. I've got a co-coordinator God Zainab Chitambi eh, is a co-coordinator yeah. but I'm the other coordinator of Kwale County and then you also have coordinators all over all counties in Kenya. We've got about 47 coordinators. Yeah. Alafu we have uh, other the neck officials eh, yeah. that is the party leader and a few others eh, including Hamisa Zaja. Wame, wamewahi pengine kufika katika nyanja uh, kufika nyanjani kupigia debe. Wamekuja yeah. wamekuja mara kwanza na pia watakuja. Yeah. Tumejipanga kija katika uadilifu ambao alikuwa na na, 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 na uzungumzia mtazamaji uh, daktari Hamisi Makaonja na uadilifu ambao uh, umeshindwa na watu wengi sana katika uh, nchi hii na labda hata dunia nzima tuambie katika masuala yako ya familia mm. ili mtazamaji uh, 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 asikie kutoka kwako mimi hapa na, 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 na bibi zangu watatu wanakaa pamoja ni kama my sisters eh? Oh, yawa ni kama pacha watu watatu. Okay? Yeah. Wanapendana, wanafanya kazi pamoja na pia wamefanya watoto wao pia wapendane. Mm. Na watoto na family ya kutosha. Mm. Na watoto ni kuhesabu kama 20 vi children eh? mm. Okay? Yeah. Ambao wote wanapendana, wanawasiliana na wako pamoja. Na hii ni vizuri sana kwa sababu uh, napata ushauri mbalimbali, mbali, napata talent mbalimbali mbali, kwa sababu kila bibi, okay, ana uwezo wake katika eh ukupeana hizo endowment of genes yeah. to the family eh? yeah. kila mtu kwa hivyo i'm getting a variety of uh, talents eh? yeah. from my wives ndizamaji <laughs> <laughs> uh, kama una <laughs> kama una, u, umesikiza speech hiyo unaona kwamba kuna uadilifu sana ni wengi wanaoa uh, wanawake ama wake uh, zaidi ya mmoja lakini kuweka pamoja na kukaa pamoja kama familia moja huwa ni ngumu na Dr. Mwakaonje hapa amesema anawake watatu wanaoishi katika nyumba sio boma nyumba moja na wanafanya kazi pamoja. Hawa watoto wako na uh, wanakusaidia katika swala, kwa sababu kama ni shirini hizo ni kula shirini tayari. Yes. Je, wanakusaidia katika uh, kampeni zako ama wanakusaidia kimawazo katika kufanya kampeni? Na umechukuliaje swala hilo kwamba baba, baba yao sasa anagombania kiti cha ubunge eneo la Msambweni? Watoto wangu wananisaidia only that wengine ni wadogo wengine wakubwa lakini wengine pia wako hapa na wanasaidia kwa kampeni wengine pia wanawatuma kwa kampeni wanazungumza kwenye kampeni wakati on my behalf eh? Mm. Eh, lakini uh, unfortunately some of them have gone back to the universities yeah. okay na vijana uh, moja yuko university America moja yuko university Nairobi ni msichana huko eh? eh, yuko Nairobi Nairobi University moja amemaliza Mount Kenya University moja yuko Egerton University, moja ameenda uh, Southeastern University uh, Kitui, moja ameenda uh, JKUAT procurement, procurement fika na moja ya subiri Januari ataenda Kenyatta University for Bachelor's of Arts degree. Uh, na wengine bado ni wadogo. Bado ni wadogo. Mm. Asante. Dr. Mwakaonje swali hili naomba nikuuliza na ulijibu tu kwa ukowazi. Yes endapo haungekuwa katika kinyang'anyiro cha ubunge hmm. la msambweni. Hmm. Ukiangalia wanaogombania kiti hiki, hmm. ungempigia debe nani? 
Mimi singe mpiga yoyote kwa sababu wote sio na mbea nafaa tu bia Lakini kupiga kura ni ni ni, ni, ni it's a democratic right eh. Ah uh, democratic right that's why yeah, you can either vote or not. Kwa hivyo nitaangalia pangekuwa na mtu kama Bujira pale yasimama ama Abdul Malik ningepeana kura yangu. Lakini wale ambao wako wote wako pale wote ni watu ambao I can't see a leader. If I name them one after another sitaki kuwataja lakini they are all people ambao they have been uh, they have been under me. That be, yeah, that people ambao that have been under me even politically some of them ndio nimewafanya nime wajue hii ramisi ward uh-huh. wakati na gombania wa mca yeah. na unaona nilipata raila pia akanipa cheti yeah. lakini baadaye because of some inconveniences mshimadora hakutaka niwe pale uh-huh. si ndio na mshimadjo akamaliza kazi ya kuhakikisha mimi nisipate ile tikiti lakini Baadaye pia ujue mimi ni mtu ambaye kama ule wazungu madilifu mm. niliungana tena na Mheshimiwa Dori alikuwa adui wangu na akawa kipenzi changu paka mwisho akanyusia mambo yake. Mm. Paka wakati tunafanya prize giving day pale msambweni pale mm. alipatiwa ile shada akanipa mimi akanambia mpe mwaka onje. Sasa tukaondoka pale paka gasi mm. na Mheshimiwa Dori tunapendana ile last minute mm. sijui kwa Dori atakufa si ndio? Yeah. Eh, lakini sasa tukakaa pale pamoja Mheshimiwa Maone aniita anambia twende na anambia ndori amwache mwaka wanje hapa. Kumbe nilikuwa tuaga na Mheshimiwa Dori. Baadaye acha ni madiki dogo. Baadaye yeah. kuna mpira alinipa kasema mwaka wanje chukua mpira. Mm. Eh. Sasa so, so, uh, doctor yote umea, umea, umea ongea. Yes. Uh, siji, siji kwa ufupi tu. Mm. Katika azimio lako la kupata kiti hiki cha ubunge eneo yeah. la Msambweni. Yeah umeona pengo gani msambweni lile pengo moja kuu ambalo mapengo ni mengi mm. tunajua lakini lile pengo lako la kuu ambalo umeliona na nataka kuliziba hapa msambweni mm. ni pengo gani pengo kubwa haswa ni unemployment o, ambayo sasa kina mama okay hawana biashara kina mama ndio backbone ya familia na economy mm. lakini kina mama biashara zao ndogo ndogo hizi zina hazina mtaji wa kutosha wanauza mahamri, wanauza samaki, wanakaranga samaki, wanauza chapati, wanauza nini, wana vioteli vidogo dogo, wana nini, lakini hawana mtaji. Na ile ile biashara ile ndio inawasaidia kulisha nyumbani na kulimisha watoto. Alafu pia watoto wao wanapata bursaries kidogo kidogo. Sasa we end up watoto na drop from 1, from 2, from 3, from 4. They don't go anywhere. Wanakaa hapo nyumbani wanakuwa liability wanakuwa burden to the family kwa hivyo family ina go poor and poor so what i want to what vile ambavyo nataka kufanya katika ile cdf amount money ambayo yatolewa nitapunguza kidogo infrastructure na hakikishe napatia kina mama 10,000 kina bwana biashara zao 10,000 waongeze wenge, ile mitaji yao alafu watoto wao ni watapatie basi za kutosha na nifanye follow up na hakikishe hawa watoto watasoma na wasomee na ni watafutie makazi kwa okay, sababu utakuwa kwa trend Okay? Wakif- nikifanya vile nitakuwa ule mzigo kwa familia nimeuondoa. Watu kidogo wataanza kupumua eh, because right now there's nobody minding about them. Wajua kila mtu, kila mama anafanya mambo yake. Sasa ni watu ambao wanakuwa na stress paka sasa unaweza kuona mama zangu ni wagonjwa lakini si wagonjwa. Ni kwa sababu ya ile jukumu ambalo wanalo katika familia. Mtazamaji ni uh, kiongozi huyu Dr. Hamisi Mwakaonje mbaye kwa sasa anagombania kiti cha uh, ubunge katika eneo bunge la Msambweni uh, na kukuelezea tu ni kwamba uh, uchaguzi mdogo umeratibiwa kufanyika tarehe 15 ambapo tukipiga uh, hesabu za kawaida ni kwamba uh, tumesalia na wiki moja labda na nusu uh, kabla kufika katika uchaguzi huo uh, na hitimisha mdahalo huu kwa sasa nikiwa uh, mtangazaji wako Abdul Malik Fumbwe lakini Dr. Dr. Hamis Makaonje na uh, labda ni kuruhusu tu uongee na wakazi wa Msambweni katika uh, kujipigia debe ukiangalia kamera na mwisho labda uwashukuru kwa kuangalia na kuchagua Jimbo TV <coughs> kwako Dr. Wakazi wa Msambweni mimi kama Makaonje Dr. Makaonje naona mimi nimetegemea nyinyi okay nyinyi ndio kina ruto wangu Nyinyi ndio kinajoo wangu katika kusel katika bahari hii. Nataka mimi niwasaidie ama tusaidiane ni hakikishe shida zenu zimepungua. Nataka mimi ni hakikishe nalinda pesa zenu ambazo zimeletwa na serikali 
hizo 500 million kwa miaka mitano nataka nihakikishe lile sola la madini halendi kwa bepari kuna watu ambao wanataka wapate wafanye mkao pale nataka nihakikishe tuko pale na tuweke watu nyinyi wenyewe ambao mnastahili kukalia hiyo pesa kama kamati na kufanya yale maendeleo ambayo mtayataka katika msambweni sitaki watu ambao wamekodelea macho hizo mali zenu mimi hii huu bunge siku hizi si bunge ya kuchezea ni ubunge ambao unataka mtu ambaye ni kama treasure ana uaminifu. Kwa hivyo si ubunge wa zamani ambao walikuwa hauna chochote kama ule wa mheshimiwa wa Nabolu Mamzandi alipata tabu sana ku, 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 kuongoza kwa sababu ilikuwa ni mshahara wake tu na watu wanafuata nyumbani. Kwa hivyo kama sisi hatuwezi kumlaumu mheshimiwa Mamzandi ambaye alika pale lakini hana pesa ya kuongoza watu wake. This time kuna pesa ya kutosha ambayo serikali imetengeneza na ile pesa sasa itaka mtu ambaye anaweza kuilinda kwa hivyo tunataka kiongozi pia ambaye anaweza kuchanganya makabila yote wa pamoja tuondoe ukabila si wale ambao wanasema hawataki watu wa bara watu wa wapi hakuna mtu wa bara watu wote ambao wako hapa ni wa hapa kwa hivyo ndugu zangu nataka ni kiechu moja nataka watu wapendane na tukipendana tutakuwa na maendeleo tutakuwa na maendeleo. Wajua umoja ndio unaondoa uh, insecurity. Watu wakiwa pamoja hakutakuwa na insecurity. Alafu at the same time watu watashare different talents. Alafu maendeleo yatakuweko katika hii constituency yetu ya Msambweni. Je, unataka kupata stories zinazotrend kila wiki au pundi zinapochipuka? Jumbo online TV ndio mpango mzima. Jumuika nasi ili kupata mseto wa vipindi ikiwemo Jumbo Stories, stories za burudani. Michezo, siasa, maisha, elimu, science na uchunguzi kutoka huko nchini na ulimwengu mzima. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare, kucomment na kulike. Jumbo TV, stay updated.